Let's say you found an old hard drive and you want to install Bitcoin again. Whoa. So hi everybody, welcome back to the Bitcoin Day Trader channel. It has been a year, I know, it's been way too long. Where were you? Well, I don't know. Today I uh, wanted to do something. I have a, uh, a old hard drive here with, uh, well, it got an old wallet. I don't think there's anything on it, but it has the blockchain and I wanted to have a, a Bitcoin Core wallet. So I'm going to show you guys how we're going to do this. So. First of all, you got to put that hard drive in your PC. I have a um, external hard drive reader. Here we have it. I can just put it. <laughs> I did it upside down. It is uh, connected. Okay. Hi. I don't know if you guys are hearing this, <laughs> but that's not what you usually want to hear. As you can see, I tried today to uh, open a uh, wallet again. Hey, stop interrupting me. It's very annoying. Give me a moment. Okay, let us all just act like nothing happened. Yes, that was exactly what we needed. As you can see, well, here is my hard drive. It's called blockchains. If there are old people watching, old people, I don't mean with your age. I mean, from way back in the days, you guys know that I have a Bitcoin blockchain somewhere here. And it is, as you can see, well, huge isn't even the right way to describe this. Am I right? Well, as you can see, there is a wallet, I guess, even though these wallets, I, I think that they're empty. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it's 390 gigabytes of <laughs> blockchain. <laughs> Pretty big. Let's say you found an old hard drive and you want to install Bitcoin again. What we're going to do now is get ourselves the Bitcoin Core wallet. Just Google for Bitcoin Core and not, not click on the advertisement, but just go to Bitcoin.org. So you know, we could have done that differently, but let's just go here. Let's see which version we have today. We have Bitcoin Core version 0 0.21. Well, it's been a while. So what do I have here? 0 0.16. <laughs> so it's a long time ago. Let's download this new Bitcoin Core wallet. Usually when you install Bitcoin Core, it uses a special folder on your hard drive. Usually in your username folder, it's called C double dot users and then your username and then app data, if I am correct. In this case, it is on an external hard drive. So some of you guys might have that. And this way I can teach you guys how to connect to that other location. It is finished downloading. So let's open it and just next it all the way through. Next it, next it, install it give it to me run it yeah finish and i think you usually want to use the latest version uh well get over here what we see right now is it is starting to synchronize the headers as you can see it's synchronizing it's uh, very much behind hey why does it say it's only 44 weeks behind that's weird man i used to see like 10 years ago yeah that makes sense 2010 okay oh it's probably 10 years yeah 10 years and 44 weeks behind so let's hide this and uh, let's close the connection because I don't want it to continue to download the entire blockchain because I already have a big part of the blockchain. I think last year was the last time that we that I have used it. Let us check where this wallet is at this moment. This is the location of my blockchain. So we're going to go over there in a minute. What we're going to do first is check out where this is located. This newly created wallet and uh, where it is trying, where my computer is trying to download the entire blockchain. So. How do you get there? <laughs> you go to your C drive and on your C drive, you have a folder called users. You go to your users folder. You have a personal user folder. This is my name. My name is Mr. And your name might be something totally different. And within this folder, you have app data. As you can see, I have hidden folders uh, visible. If you don't have it, just enter this, what we see here in your um, address bar. So if you put Mr dash and then write app data just as it is showing us here press enter and in app data you have free um free folders i think it is in roaming because it's usually in roaming and yeah it is in roaming so this is the blockchain that it was trying to download we disconnected it but it was trying to synchronize with the network here we have different options i already know what we're going to do First of all, you have to shut down. Uh, when, whenever you do something, make sure that you shut down uh, the Bitcoin Core wallet. So exit it, make sure that it has been uh, closed. So what we can do is let's put a new screen here. 
put our blockchain wallet, a uh, blockchain hard drive, and we can simply just move everything from here to that new direction. That's an option. That's an option. I'm not going to do that because I don't have the space on my hard drive. Let me show you how much I have on my PC, on my C drive. It only has 118 uh, gigabytes, so it will never fit those 400 gigabytes. So that's not what we're going to do. What we are going to do is we are going to do it the special way. We're going to boot the program the way I always teach you guys how to use Bitcoin, using the command uh, window. First of all, we're going to start a command window. So you do that by pressing the Windows tab or go down there to start and type CMD for command and start it. This is the command window that we're going to work with. What we want to do is we want to boot this newly downloaded Bitcoin, which we can find on our C drive in our program files. I expect it to be here. Yes, it is here. So we're going to boot this program here. In order for us to uh, get to this program, the Let's keep this over here so we see what it's supposed to be. It's C double dot. So let's go here. Capital C double dot backslash program files. Then backslash the Bitcoin folder. Then backslash Bitcoin QT.exe. This will run the program. If I press enter now, it will start. It is exactly the same as double clicking here. But what we're going to do is we're going to give it a an argument. And that argument is going to tell the program where it should look for this blockchain folder. So the blockchain folder is, in my case, it's R double dot. Maybe in your case, it's something different. So make sure that whenever you are in your, whenever you're in your old blockchain folder, make sure that you know for sure that it is, uh, for instance, D double dot or F double dot or whatever. In my case, I call it R double dot. So go back here, press space after, after, uh, well, C double dot program files. And then we're going to write, it is one dash, so write a dash, and then put data directory, oh, data di, data dir, whatever, equals, and then we're going to put this over here. So whatever you see up here in your address bar, copy it, right click, this is going to be it. I think that is enough. So let us check out what's going to happen. Hey, you see something happen here? And I can hear my hard drive making sounds. I can hear it. I hope you guys can hear it too. Maybe you cannot. That is basically the trick to uh, boot an old blockchain. And now we gotta wait for eternity. Eternity, eternity. I don't know how long this is gonna take. Probably way too long. This is such an old hard drive. But let me check it. It's from the year 2008. So don't use an old hard drive because it will take you centuries before you are able to use it. Okay, I was lying, apparently. It is uh, already working. It took it only oh, 50 seconds. And as you can see, it is. Uh, it has already been downloaded for 94%. Is it working? Is my PC working? It's not responding. Don't be scared. So it has been 17 weeks the last time that I did uh, synchronize the uh, the blockchain, the Bitcoin blockchain. So uh, as you guys can see, this is an old wallet and it is uh, not responding. No, it is responding, but um, there's nothing in it left. Ah, I'm very sad. Yeah, well, now we have access to our wallet back. And as you can see, it is still locked. So for us to be able to unlock it, we need to brute force it. But I hope you guys learned something new today. And if not, well, see you guys next time. <laughs> Goodbye. Let me close down this wallet. Let us do something cooler while we're still here. Let's run the Bitcoin demon. 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 Which means it runs on your background. That's why it's a demon. It's a ghost. Uh, oh, it's not a demon. It's a diamond. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this. Instead of launching the Bitcoin QT, we're going to launch here a demon. Bitcoin D. Okay. And then do Bitcoin client now bitcoin d and the way i do this is by pressing tab and let's put data directory equals r double dash backslash bitcoin block gen I press enter and why am i doing this because it looks cooler now we can see what it is actually doing uh, in the background it's almost the same as just opening uh 
the wallet, but now we can see what is happening. What are we reading here? New album pair connection. Wow, we have connections. We're almost there. We're 98% there, apparently. We're using, uh, well, we're connected to a IP address, as you can see here, and we're connected through port 800, uh, 8,333. Um, what is this? The best height? Is that my height? Hey, show me more. So what can we see here? Um, as we see, we have a new update. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh. I have 665,000 blocks. Okay, let's check this out, blockchain blockchain.info or is it .com we are at this moment at block 683,000 wow so I'm very much uh, very a lot uh, behind very lot uh, behind where am I I'm at here so I need to have at least another 20,000 something like that 20,000 new blocks it's gonna take a while you guys Especially at this speed. Already, we only have one, two, three, four extra blocks. But yeah, 